Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for November 1st through November 15th, 2021. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back subscribers. If you would like a personal reading, the link is below and the options are available on the website. Also, for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. It doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point. So the link below to my website has all the information for you on the distance energy therapy. Uh, you can read about the benefits, definitely check out the testimonials. Um, this has been my full-time work for over three and a half years now. So um, you'll also see that I offer a 15% discount for your very first uh, distance energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of the discount if that is helpful for you. We are moving into eclipse season as well. So the last couple months of the year are going to go out with a bang. It's such an important time to be tuning in, to be doing your work daily, um, paying attention to the lessons and the things that are showing up for you because that is going to make it so much easier to transition out of 2021 and into 2022. So that's it for Shop Talk. We're going to get straight into the readings. Hello, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is for November 1st through November 15th, 2021. I've already fully shuffled, so let's just get the cards out. Okay, let me get an overall a card for the overall energy here. Interesting, Gemini, you've got some similar cards to the Libra reading. A lot going on here about communication. Okay, your oh, oh, you've got two. Your overall energy. <laughs> you've got the chameleon spirit, act as if, and you've got cow spirit. The miracles are endless. Okay, I really like that. I almost see with the miracles are endless, um, a lot of transformation with that. You know, chameleons are always like changing color. So let's see what other messages we've got for you. Really interesting start to the reading here. We've got the knight of swords, the two of swords, and the seven of swords. So definitely something coming up here for you in regards to a disagreement, an argument, um, a difficult conversation. I'm actually seeing this for some of you within a friendship or within the workspace. Of course, some of you, this is going to be romantic, but I'm really seeing more in like the friendship area. There might be a little falling out with a close friend um, or something that just needs to be spoken about. Maybe not even necessarily a falling out, but like something needs to be said that hasn't been said. Kind of like the elephant in the room is what I'm seeing here. And, you know, in regards to that friendship or that situation, it, it's too soon to make a decision of like, I'm leaving this friendship or I'm leaving this relationship, you know, in or out. Two of Swords really asks you to wait to wait on making any major decisions because the message here is you, you don't have all the information just yet. So you may have this conversation about something that feels a little sneaky, something that's been unspoken about. There may be some dishonesty within here. Seven of Swords can bring kind of like leaving out information conveniently um, or not being honest. And that can be, you know, honest within ourselves as well if this is not about um, somebody that you're dealing with. But, you know, with that, I just, I do, I see so, some heated conversations or just like the words just need to come out. And I felt a lot of this energy in the Libra reading as well. So um, I thought this would have come up in Mercury retrograde, but I guess not. Now is the time, Scorpio season, and as we're moving into eclipse season. So be mindful of that. Sometimes we need to express with a little bit of anger or a little bit of like, you know, direct and to the point. Things don't always need to be sugar coated. That is for sure. So, um, but again, with that Gemini, it's too soon to make a decision. Um, there's more information coming for you. And then this is really interesting. We've got the Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Cups, and Queen of Swords, but the backs are turned to one another. So... What I am seeing with this, again, on the first row, I saw something with like friendships. Like there, there's a relationship or a partnership or a friendship around you that 
you two just are not agreeing on things. You're not seeing eye to eye. Um, I'm seeing like frustrated energy, but it's almost reaching a point like a plateau of where you're ready to just accept that. It doesn't make either of you wrong or a bad person. It's just there's like different viewpoint here. Um, and there's actually a reason for that. I think it, it's positive. There's almost an energy of relaxing into, okay, we can agree to disagree and still like each other or still get along. Like there's something shifting here um, that's bringing a lightness and a different perspective, um, which is really beautiful. And I'm kind of seeing like um, the pride, the ego, the, the mental energy kind of soften up a little bit to allow this agree to disagree um, energy because there's like a loving, it's really, I'm trying to describe what I'm feeling. There's like a loving energy around this agree to disagree where you still accept each other, but you're very clear um, that things are opposite. So that may happen after this comes up. Like this is going to be like the volcano of everything that has been unsaid and that's all going to erupt. And then after that, you're going to find a place of peace within that. And, um, I don't see either of you holding grudges or resentment. It's kind of like a peace, peace is going to come over this situation, which I think one or both of you might not be expecting that because the conversation is going to be like so heated. Um, and, you know, some things are going to be said that is like, whoa, why have you been holding that back from me? Or um, I just see like a battle of words um, back and forth here but needs to happen. And it was similar message in the Libra reading. This needs to happen. This conversation uh, needs to happen. And down here, we've got two of wands, seven of wands, and the knight of cups. Okay, very interesting. So down here is where you are now ready to make a decision. The two of swords was a little bit too soon. You didn't have all the information. So now with the two of wands, you've come to a more peaceful place within uh, this conflict. Uh, and you're ready to make a decision here from a different space, not out of anger, not out of, you know, right or wrong or blame or anything like that. You are making a decision uh, Gemini from like a really grounded centered place within you. There's a little bit of inner resistance here. Um, I'm, I'm picking that up just because it's new. I don't know if you've necessarily dealt with a situation in this way before. So you might a little bit surprise yourself. I see just a lot of uh, very mature energy here coming through. Um, so just be aware of that wherever you're resisting it might, it's usually just because it's something new or you're pushing past your comfort zone and it's like an unknown, but the outcome is a positive one with the Knight of Cups here. This is an offer, an offer of love, an offer of friendship, an offer of connection from the heart energy. So where the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords kind of have their back to one another, one of you or both of you are going to surrender into you know what, I actually do value this romantic partnership, or I do value this friendship, or I do value this work relationship, and I don't want to lose it. So I'm kind of seeing three different levels here almost in regards to this person. Um, there's going to be a big discussion, argument, whatever you want to call it. Then there's going to be a shift in energy where you agree to disagree. And then the decision is going to be, you know what, I really do value you. So what you think might destroy this relationship or partnership is actually going to create space for more realness um, and a different energy between the two of you. So if this is romantic, for those of you that, it, that are romantic, I almost view this as you're learning how to argue with one another, which we have to do in any new relationship, learning how to argue and navigate through difficulty. It, it has to be learned and it's always uncomfortable and it always is like, oh, it's easier to just quit, but you know, that doesn't do good either. So um, I'm really proud of you, Gemini, because I see a lot of maturity coming through here in regards to this type of situation. And I think that's why you've got you know, the cow spirit, miracles are endless. This is going to surprise you a little bit and it may surprise the other person as well or whoever you are dealing with. And the chameleon here, it's like you are shifting, you are changing, you are growing and it's beautiful. 
So let me see if there's any other messages. So let's see, I've got a lot of um, air energy out here. So if it's not another Gemini, it might be a Libra or an Aquarius. I'm also seeing water. So Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Okay. All right, your last message is miracles. So like I said, this is coming in. It's going to be a positive thing. It's not going to look positive when you're in it, but it is going to be a good thing. You might think this is a miracle that we're still friends or that we're still in a relationship after that heaviness or after that argument. And that's a beautiful thing, you know, to be able to get through that and come back together and, you know, to a, to a healthy place. Okay, let me get you a spirit animal message. Ooh, there it is. You've got the white stag, protector. You are an old soul. Your best friend is nature. Use your intuition to take you where you want to go. Awaken to the powerful force within you. You are meant to create blessings with your magic. Beautiful, Gemini. I see this as like you stepping into your power in a different way here within this situation. Um, being able to agree to disagree and still come from a place of love and acceptance of the other person. Um, that is a really powerful place to be. So that is your spirit animal message for the first couple weeks of November. I hope this resonates with you. If not, no worries. You can always watch your moon sign, your rising, really any other placement of Gemini. Um, thank you for your comments below the video. I love reading those. And if you missed the intro, uh, there's a link below if you would like a personal reading. Uh, the options are on my website, so it will just take you there and you can choose whatever uh, feels best. Also, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I have clients spread all around the globe at this point. Um, this has been my full-time work for over three and a half years now. So the link is also below to my website. Uh, you can read about uh, the distance energy healing and therapy, the benefits, uh, the testimonials, and definitely take advantage. I do have a 15% discount for your very first energy session with me. So you can take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful for you in some way. I think that's it, Gemini. I'm wishing you a wonderful start to November, and I will see you guys back here for the second half of November readings. Take care.